Questions about Donald Trump's staggering cognitive decline are only sure to increase after he made a surprise appearance at the Fox Propaganda Network last night and made a statement so delusional that the internet has pounced on it and we have to talk about it. But before we do, if you end up liking this video and you want to support the channel, please be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and alert bells before you go. All right, friends, we have several clips to talk about in this video. For context, Donald Trump made an appearance on Gutfeld, which is the Fox Propaganda Network's comedy show. It's their attempt at counteracting Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, Stephen Colbert. It's their version of late night comedy talk show. And it's hosted by MAGA cultist Greg Gutfeld. So Donald Trump shows up. He's not asked any tough questions. He's given the same sort of softball interview that Fox constantly complains that liberals get or liberals give rather to Democrats. Democrats in mainstream Hollywood talk show. So again, just typical Fox hypocrisy. And during the course of the conversation, Donald Trump said many stupid things, but then he said something so stupid, it bordered, actually went into, didn't even border, it just transgressed fully into delusional. He was, of course, not fact-checked on it, but the internet pounced. And it's one of those statements that we're so used to Donald Trump lying casually, maliciously, pathologically. But now it's calling into increased questions about his staggering cognitive decline because it may very well be that he is having some sort of psychotic break. We're going to play the clip. See if you catch it. But all of them and they didn't correct her once and they corrected me everything I said practically, I think nine times or 11 times. And the audience was absolutely they went crazy. And and the real. That was it. He said the audience went crazy because ABC fact-checked him during his debate with the vice president. The only problem is there was no audience. There was no audience. It was just Donald Trump, Vice President Harris, and the two ABC moderators and an empty studio. There was no audience at all. Donald Trump saw no one there when looking out on stage except the vice president and the two ABC moderators. No audience whatsoever. And again, the Fox Propaganda Network didn't fact check on him on this, didn't notice. Well, are you talking about people on the Internet, at home, in the aftermath? What do you mean by audience? Do you mean supporters afterwards, Mr. President? Who are you talking about? He just casually said it. And we're going to play the rest of the clip because he also says some other ridiculous things. But did Donald Trump see people who weren't there? Or did he forget that there wasn't an audience? What the hell is going on here? And these are legitimate questions to ask, given that Donald Trump is a 78-year-old man, the oldest presidential candidate in American history, and someone with a long history of gaffes and malapropers and and non sequiturs and red herring, somebody who, according to the polls, poll after poll after poll, we talked about it on here at Pondering Politics, a majority of Americans think that Donald Trump is not mentally or physically fit to be president. So all these questions are perfectly valid, especially if those conservatives watching held President Biden to that same standard. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Why would Donald Trump say something like that? Hmm. Let's play the rest of the clip. Well, I thought it was I walked off. I said that was a great debate. I loved it. You know, you got a lot of people watch. I guess we had 75 million people watching something like that. And you have to do well. You can't do badly. For instance, Biden didn't do so well in the previous debate because I had the two debates. I had one. We actually had two debates. You know, I had one against a man. And then they said, he's not doing well. Take him out. Put in a new one. And if she doesn't do well, I wonder if they're going to take her out. Just keep putting it. Let's see if we can get it right. The problem is, according to the polls, she did do really well. I mean, certainly according to people watching. But according to the polls afterwards from multiple sources, the vice president cleaned his clock. She kicked his ass. Newsweek is talking about this. Donald Trump says he won the debate. Here's what the polls say. Trump is still claiming he won last week's debate against Vice President Harris, despite polls giving Harris the lead. Well, finally, everyone is agreeing that I won the debate with Kamala. It was like a delayed reaction. But as one political pundit said, Trump is still the GOAT, the former president wrote on True Social Tuesday night. The former president was fact-checked a number of times during the debate for repeating false claims that the 2020 election was rigged and promoting a conspiracy theory about migrants in Ohio and abducting, excuse me, migrants in Ohio abducting and eating pets. Both candidates claimed victory after the debate, but CNN's flash poll revealed 63% of viewers thought Harris won the debate compared to 37% who said the same thing about Trump. A week later, polling still shows Harris won the debate and that Harris is ahead of Trump nationally. An Angus Reid Global poll conducted between uh, September 13th and 16th shows that 56% of those who watched or followed the debate said Harris held the advantage in the contest, while one quarter, 25%, so less than half, 
believe that Trump won. Le- less, excuse me, less than half of the people who thought Harris won thought Trump won. It's pretty staggering. The poll also shows that Harris supporters are far more convinced their candidate won than Trump supporters, with 93% of Harris supporters saying Harris clearly won or won by a small margin, while only 60, 61% of Trump supporters said the same thing. A Data for Progress poll conducted between September 12th and 13th showed a majority of voters thought Harris won the debate, with 56 choosing the vice president to Trump's 37%. Meanwhile, polling averages shows that uh, Harris has made gains since the debate. So, Again, like that in and of itself is also delusional, right? To have an experience like that and to genuinely believe that you came out ahead, uh, that might be a sign of failing mental health. But beyond that, again, I keep going back to, and again, this has gone viral. People are commenting on on this uh, in publications like the Daily Beast, Newsweek, media is talking about it, social media is discussing it. Donald Trump seems to believe that there was a live studio audience during that debate, even though there wasn't. Not even a small audience. There was nobody except for the vice president, him, and two moderators. The reason this is important to ask is when President Biden was the presumptive Democratic nominee, so much was made of his mental health. And if you recall, I said at the time, it's perfectly fair to ask questions about any candidate with respect to age, physical, and mental fitness, given that this is the hardest job in the world. It's the most important job in the world. It's fair to ask questions about whether or not the candidates are up to the task. My beef was I felt that so many, certainly conservatives, certainly MAGA Republicans, but I would argue even mainstream media, were holding Biden to a higher standard than Trump, which made no sense given that they'd both been president and both were trying to become president. Again, they should be held to the same damn standard. And then you evaluate them accordingly. That's not what happened. So now that Biden has withdrawn from the race and he won't be seeking re-election, the contest is between Trump and Harris. And again, the polls have flipped. Donald Trump was benefiting from this asymmetrical expectation and the asymmetrical coverage. We've also talked about how when Biden was the candidate, even mainstream media like the New York Times and CNN and other outlets, which are supposedly liberal, hyper-focused on Biden's cognitive state and gave Trump a pass. But despite that favorable media ecosystem, now that the vice president is the Democratic nominee, the polls are pretty brutal for Trump with respect to physical and mental fitness. So... I think it's incumbent on those of us who are fair-minded in and out of media, in and out of politics, no matter where you are on what side of the aisle, to hold them to the same standard. The problem for Trump is, even though I would argue Biden was still better than Trump, there's no question, no doubt whatsoever, that if you hold these two to the same standard, Harris is infinitely more physically and mentally fit to be president than Trump. And that is why so many Republicans do not want to have that conversation anymore. But this is going to make headlines. It already has now that Donald Trump has said that there was a studio audience uh, watching his debate, that they went crazy during the debate when, in fact, they did not. So anyway, Donald Trump continuing to uh, cause unnecessary scandals and controversies for himself as the vice president's momentum continues. In the meantime, let me know what you think in the comments.